Hey everybody, we have an additional release of H2B visas for fiscal year 21-2022, the second half. That's the April cycle. So I hope you're getting the full certification. Let's talk about what this means for you and what your strategy should be going forward if you missed out on the lottery and still want workers, because we've never had a release of extra visas quite like this ever before. So we have another historic announcement from the Department of Homeland Security, fresh on the back of the first ever release of additional worker visas uh, for the October cycle, in October 2021. The Department of Homeland Security has given us the earliest release of visas ever. On March 31st, which is, which is this past uh, Thursday, the department announced, uh, late, late, late Thursday, so I didn't see it until Friday, um, they announced that they will be releasing, wait for it, 35,000 additional visas. That's 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 almost a 100% increase on the number of visas released last year. For the year, that means that the department has released nearly 60,000 additional visas. That we have to give credit is really good work by this administration. Despite all the other crazy things across this broken immigration system, the H2B uh, a program seems to be performing sort of the best quietly under the radar because nobody except for you folks that are watching really knows about it. I am waiting on the tweet from the Seasonal Employer Alliance. Where's the tweet? This is an awesome lobby group, but you didn't tweet about this. You should have tweeted about this. This is huge news. 35,000 visas. So of those visas, fully 11,500 are slotted for workers who've never been prior certified. The rest are slotted for now for returning workers. That's 11,500 and they can be recruited from very specific countries, which I'm gonna list here, okay? What does that mean for you if you lost out on the lottery, which is most uh, businesses, most employers. Number one, it goes back to what I've been saying from video one on this channel with Trent. Finish your certification with the Department of Labor if you can. If you now have a full certification, even though you missed out on that initial allotment of 33,000 visas in lottery, you're sitting pretty. Because as soon as we get word from the Department of Homeland Security of when these additional visas can be filed for, and we haven't gotten word of that yet, as soon as we get word, you're gonna be able to file your fully certified Department of Labor application, and you're gonna be able to file like on day one so what i'm like doing right now with my employers is uh we are going to organize ourselves so that on day one we can have our full certification and all of our documents that we need filed for that uscis step okay if you are in like a group uh e f g probably even group d's you're probably you may you might probably still be going through the process certification you're back and forth on your nod's you're doing your recruitment that's okay you're gonna have plenty of time remember your recruitment you have to do for a full uh 14 business days so just remember when you're you, you know counting down the clock are you a business that works five days a week? Do you work seven days a week? If you're a restaurant that's open seven days a week, it might just be 14 straight days and you're done. You can count the weekends. Um, you know, so that that's one way to get to the finish line faster. But anyway, what you need to be thinking about now is the USCIS part of the process. Remember, once you get certified by the Department of Labor, the next step is to apply with the USCIS. You got to file duplicate application on the I-129. Don't forget the supplement you know, for your H2B application. There's an H supplement, you have to turn that in. And then I always turn in all the blank pages for the I-129 as well. Finally, you need your 907 for premium processing, right? So things can go fast. That's one thing I would say, don't forget, don't forget to premium process. You know, there's still a race on these additional visas, so don't forget to premium process, okay? It's $1,500 in the large scheme of things. Your worker is gonna be saving your business, you know, so uh, it's definitely money you should pony up. Okay, so let me back up. What do we need to be thinking about? Get to full certification, which means you've gotten you know both, both approved and you've gotten through your recruitment period. And once you get through your recruitment period, okay, you will get full certification. At that point, you will be applying with USCIS. It's still a race. There's 11 and a half thousand workers, you know, that aren't returning workers. There is 23 and a half thousand that are returning workers that you can choose from. Okay, um, you're gonna file premium processing and then you should be able to get to workers. When are they gonna come? Listen, it's gonna depend on when the USCIS says we can file. If we can file like this week, there's a good chance 
that we can get your workers in, you know, by mid-May, which would be amazing. I think that would save a lot of summers. So I'm looking at hoping, fingers crossed, that workers can come in by mid-May, which would be fully like a month and a half, two months earlier than all uh, previous years when we've had additional allotments of workers, which is frankly as the system should be, okay? So fingers crossed, this is going to be a really, 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 really great thing for the program. And if you need additional assistance, if you have questions, all the links are here, okay? Uh, if you need to know how to file the USCIS portion, download our ebook, it's here. Um, I'm back, so I'll be back tomorrow. Here's your video for today. Thanks so much.